Hello and welcome to Joy-Con Cast episode 25. I'm your host, Nicholas, and this week we have some Nintendo Switch news to go over, as well as some holiday gift guides for you regarding the Nintendo Switch. There are actually some pretty decent uh, discounts right now on Nintendo Switch systems, controllers, and accessories. And with Christmas on the way, I figured I'd do a little holiday gift guide. Uh, whether you're buying a Switch for yourself or a loved one, I figured I'd go through some of the best accessories you can get for a Nintendo Switch. Some of these will be discounted, others might not be. Uh, but with that being said, I figured I'd still go ahead and drop some uh, drop some recommendations regarding the Nintendo Switch. Uh, there's some other news I want to get through as well. Not so much this past week. Um, I have a feeling that the rest of the year, we have what, a couple weeks left. It's going to be pretty dry. We do have the Game Awards, which actually, if you're listening to this, happened last night. I'm recording this before the Game Awards. So, I want to uh, preface this by saying I have no idea what was or was not announced at the Game Awards. Uh, I know... I'm sure something Smash Bros. related was announced, but I would have no way of knowing as of recording. However, I do hope Smash takes Game of the Year. Uh, I think that was kind of a surprise to see. I was pretty shocked to see Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem kind of was snubbed this year. There wasn't a lot of... Like, I don't know. It just it didn't get nominated for a lot. It, it was kind of... I don't know, it was kind of snubbed out of a lot of categories. I personally thought it should have been Game of the Year. It's personally my Game of the Year. But I do believe it was nominated for uh, Best RPG or something. It was nominated for like one or two nominations. I did vote for it. So uh, hopefully it takes home something. It was just kind of odd. It was odd that it didn't get a lot of... Uh, recommendations at all. Either way, I uh, just wanted to let you know that the Game Awards already happened, but I'd have no way of knowing what was announced or what won any categories. So with that said, uh, I guess let us move on with the Holiday Gift Guide for 2019. It's kind of late, I guess, but you know what? Christmas is still what? Let me pull up a calendar. Well, we still have like two weeks. You you still have a solid like a week or two to get some Christmas shopping done. Two and a half weeks about. So if you are picking up a Switch for yourself or a loved one, here's some recommendations. Here's a nice little gift guide. Let's start with the actual system. Probably the most important part of the gift is the Nintendo Switch. Now there was a Black Friday deal, a Black Friday bundle that included a Nintendo Switch with a copy of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now... That was technically using the older Nintendo Switch with the less battery life. It was an okay deal, and I don't see it around anywhere right now. Uh, let me actually make sure. Um, I don't see it on Amazon. Well, I do see it on Amazon, but it's not for the $300 it was going for. It's marked up a little bit now. So, yeah, I would completely ignore that bundle. I would ignore it. it it's decent if you want to save the $60, but you're going to be buying games anyways. Mario Kart's not going to be the only game for the Switch. You're going to buy other games as it is, and that 60 is better spent towards a better bundle, and the number one bundle I would recommend is the Nintendo Switch with Mario Red Joy-Cons, a $20 eShop card, and a carrying case for $2.99. This is exclusive at Walmart. I don't believe I talked about this bundle yet. Maybe I did last week. But it's available at Walmart. And uh, I'll do my best to put all the links in the comment section on YouTube. Um, or in the description on other platforms if you're listening elsewhere. This is probably the best bundle. This is the Gen 2 Switch. So it's the V2, the Red Box Switch, whatever you want to call it. So it does have... Uh, in some cases, I've heard that has double the battery life. So it has much, much better battery life than the older Nintendo Switch. That's about it. That's the only change that there really is. It's battery life. Performance, frame rate, 
upload, download speed, those are all the same. But battery life is better on this newer uh, Switch. So I would personally pick this one up. It, it's got the Mario Red Joy-Con, which we have not seen in the States since 2017 when Mario Odyssey came out. And Walmart did that bundle with the Switch, Mario Odyssey, and the Red Joy-Con. Until then, uh, or since then, they've only been available to purchase in Japan. You can get those separately, the, the Red Controllers separately through Play Asia, but I believe they're a little marked up. So this is not only a great way to get the newer Nintendo Switch, but you also get those exclusive Joy-Cons, a $20 eShop card, and a carrying case. That's a much better deal in my opinion. Much better deal. If you're not interested in uh, the Joy-Con, the carrying case, or whatever, but you do want extra controllers because you're buying this for someone who's going to share the console, uh, at Walmart, you can get a Nintendo Switch with two extra controllers for $2.99. It's the same price. It's also the V2 Switch. Now, looking at these controllers, uh, they do appear to be some sort of off-brand um, controllers. So, do be careful uh, picking these up. Uh, I might say be careful, but they're not the OEM official Nintendo Switch uh, controllers. Not by any means. They do look like they're from like a third party. So, uh, I can't speak to the quality of these controllers myself. But, uh, if they're bundled with the Switch, they, they can't be... They really can't be that bad. But, like I said, they're not the Pro Controller... Um, there, let me actually pull them up and see if it actually gives me a brand. I don't believe it will. This actually, this didn't even take me to the, this link won't even work. Well, should I put this link in, like I said, in the comments or whatever? It's not opening up for me now, but, uh, pretty decent. It looks like they're wired controllers, but it's a pretty decent deal. Again, it's still two ninety nine. But if you just want extra controllers, it's really not bad. It's really not bad. Uh, the last deal that I see, that's probably uh, one of the better ones as well, is uh, it's still the V2 Nintendo Switch with the better battery life. Um, at Amazon or Best Buy, you get $30 credit. So you can pick this up on Amazon. For $2.99. And they will give you a $30 gift card. Basically for free. Uh, and it looks like Best Buy actually matched this deal. But they'll replace the Amazon gift card. With their own. It's still $2.99. You can pick it up using the links in the comments. Or in the description. And it is the V2 Switch. So you get that better, uh, the better battery life. As well as some credit. Uh, free credit is never bad. You can use that to pick up some games or accessories. Uh, pretty decent. I've seen some other deals like this where you pick up a Switch, you get a gift card. I personally don't know if they're all that good. <laughs> I mean, I don't, it's not that they're not good. It's just I don't know if they're some of the better deals. I, I think the Mario uh, Red Joy-Con bundle is the best. I think that one is absolutely the best bundle to get. It's still available from what I've seen. I thought it would sell out because it went up like a week ago. I thought it would sell out within a day or two. But it seems like it's still live as of recording, so definitely, definitely check that out. But there's some other ones in there for uh, for you as well. Now, the Switch is obviously a hybrid console. It can dock, so it can connect to a TV. You can undock it, so you can play it as a handheld system. If you or somebody you know is not interested in playing on a TV, and you are 100% sure you only want to play handheld or you only want to play portably a Nintendo Switch Lite might be a better deal the Switch Lite normally retails for $200 so it's $100 off the uh, or $1 less than the typical Switch however there is currently a deal at Walmart where you can get a Nintendo Switch Lite with Crash Team Racing, uh, which is normally thirty to forty dollars, and if you buy them together, it's two nineteen ninety five. 
So you're essentially getting the switch at the two hundred dollars, and you're getting Crash for twenty dollars, essentially. Not that bad. You get this Switch Lite. You get a game. It's a newer game too. This released just uh, this year, I believe. So it's not an older game. It's a newer game. This is a pretty good deal. Uh, you're paying, like I said, a little bit more than the $200, but you're getting a game. It's not that bad of a deal, actually. That's a pretty, pretty decent and tempting deal. If you don't want a game and you'd rather save some money... If you are a if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can now pick up a Switch Lite at Woot for 180. Uh, so Woot is offering twenty dollars off any of the colors, and as long as you're an Amazon Prime member, you can pick it up for 180, which is not bad. That's probably the cheapest price that I've seen the Switch Lite. And that's definitely the cheapest option right now to get into the Switch library. So you have access to pretty much every Nintendo Switch game minus like two or three games. So like I said, the Switch Lite can't technically switch. Uh, you don't have detachable Joy-Cons. You don't have a kickstand. You don't get a dock. It's just a one solid unit and a charging cable is all you get with the Switch Lite. It's not that bad, again, if you're only going to play single player games and you are playing 100% portably. It's not a bad, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. So I would consider picking up um, either the Switch Lite with, uh, well actually that would be yeah, honestly, I, I, I'd i recommend picking up the uh, Switch Lite with uh, Crash Team Racing. Because even if, like, I think that game normally goes 30 to $40. You're essentially getting it for, like, half off. You're essentially getting it for half off. I would personally recommend that deal. Uh, and like I said, it's a newer game as well, so you're in for a treat. But that's pretty much the deals that I've seen on the console. I am kind of surprised that there are that many deals right now normally nintendo doesn't do too many i mean they don't normally do any like price drops or price decreases it's mostly just bundles but it remains the 300 dollars. so right now if you're going to buy a switch is is the best time because you're going to pay 300 dollars no matter what but at least this time of the year you get a game bundled uh you get extra credit controllers whatever the case may be like i said personally the Mario Red Joy-Con bundle at Walmart is the best deal. Uh, I will point out as well, it's no longer available for delivery. You can use online to reserve it, but you have to pick it up at a local Walmart. Just to let you know, I should have mentioned that earlier. I believe the rest of them are all good. You can have them shipped. Uh, that one is the only one that's for in-store pickup only. But moving on. If you're getting yourself a Nintendo Switch, you need controllers, right? You need controllers. You need controllers to play some games. And right now, Joy-Con are $10 off on Amazon. And I'm pretty sure these are price matched at other stores like Best Buy, Walmart, Target, etc., etc. If you have a Nintendo Switch or Switch Lite, Joy-Con work on either system. Obviously, on the Switch Lite, you can't detach Joy-Con but you can connect them like Bluetooth controllers. And extra Joy-Con are always nice to have. Uh, I personally like the Joy-Con. I have quite a few different ones. And I like to swap out the colors on my Switch. And I like to use them whether I'm playing in handheld mode, when I'm playing docked, when I'm playing tabletop mode, whatever the case may be. I really do like the Joy-Con. And now is probably a really good time to pick up a pair. These things are normally $80.00. They're going for 70 right now. Uh, you, there's some that are even as low as 67 And like I said, these are guaranteed to be price matched at other stores as well. I would highly recommend picking up officially licensed Nintendo Joy-Con from Nintendo. There are quite a bit of different second party, or not second party, but third party alternatives that may look like Joy-Con. They may work like Joy-Con, but they are not Joy-Con. Uh, oftentimes, 
you will see these other third party knockoffs go for twenty, thirty, forty dollars. Don't pick them up. I know that the Dracon are very expensive, but there's a reason that they're expensive. There's a lot of tech packed in them. A lot of these other third party knockoffs don't have that technology, and you're just going to waste your money. You are much better off buying one pair of these official Nintendo Joy-Cons than taking a risk with the $30 Joy-Con and having to buy them over and over again because they keep breaking. Please, I recommend just buying the stock normal Nintendo Joy-Con. There's plenty of different colors as well. There's blue and yellow, purple and orange, uh, double yellow, pink and green, red and blue, gray. There's a ton of different colors and an extra pair of Joy-Con are always nice to have and they work as two controllers technically you can turn them on their sides so one pair of joy-con technically is two controllers right there and if you count the joy-con that already come with a switch that's four controllers for games like mario kart mario party smash bros whatever so i'd highly recommend picking up an extra pair of joy-con while they're on sale another great controller to have for any switch owner is the official Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. And this is currently going for $55 on Amazon and Walmart. It's normally $70, I believe. I believe it's yeah, I believe it's normally like $70 or $80. It's a, this is a de this is definitely an expensive controller, so please pick this up while it's this cheap. I've never seen it this low before. I don't think it's ever dropped below like $70 or $60 throughout the year $55 is a great deal for this and it is by far the best controller for the Nintendo Switch I currently have two of them I have one that I picked up when I got my Switch and then I have another one I got later that year for Christmas and both of them are holding up extremely well I, I use these things a lot to play a variety of games and the battery life is phenomenal in these things rarely do i have to charge them i do have a charging station that i plop them in when i'm done and they charge up but even if i forget to do it the battery in this thing is far and away the best battery life i've seen in a controller period it's fantastic it charges with usb-c as well so it's the same cable as the switch which is amazing uh, the, it looks really, really nice. The build quality feels great. This is definitely the best feeling Nintendo controller, I think, ever. I think this is probably my favorite controller of all time. It is fantastic. It looks really nice. It holds up really well. And for $55, you cannot go wrong with a Pro Controller. And like I said, this is available at Amazon and Walmart. I'm sure other places like Target, Best Buy, etc. will price match as well. So definitely look into uh, the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. In my opinion, it's the best one to get. Now, currently, if you are a Nintendo Switch Online member, uh, you can score 50% off the NES controllers from Nintendo. So Nintendo actually offers NES controllers for the Nintendo Switch that slide onto the Switch to charge. And you can use them wirelessly to play NES and SNES games. They're normally $59.99. They are now $29.99. $29.99. $29.99. They're currently half off. They're $30. Bucks. Uh, you do need to have NSO in order to pick these up. Uh, Nintendo Switch Online is $20 a year. It is $20 a year for the entire year. Just pick up Nintendo Switch Online. It's really not that much. $20 a year is nothing. Especially when other consoles like PlayStation 4 and Xbox One charge $60 a year for their membership. $20 is nothing. Even if you don't need the controllers, pick up Nintendo Switch Online so that you can get access to the NES and SNES library of games. As well as get save data backup and so much more. Please, it's 20 bucks. Uh, I've not seen this go on sale. I know sometimes PS4 or, or PSN, I should say, uh, the PlayStation uh, codes, those go on sale sometimes. I've not seen the codes for Nintendo Switch Online drop. I would not expect them to drop anytime soon. 
but twenty dollars is it's really nothing. It's it, it's 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 really nothing. Go ahead and pick it up, and then, like I said, if you want, uh, if you want to, you can pick up the NES controllers. I don't have them myself, but maybe someone out there will. Uh, maybe maybe someone out there will will in, enjoy them. But enough about the controllers. If you're getting controllers, you're also going to need games. And there are a couple games that are currently on sale. Uh, for Nintendo Switch. Uh, there's some that I would highly recommend. The first one being The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now this did go down to $30 on Black Friday I believe. And since then it's been between $30 and $40. It is currently $50 on Amazon and Walmart. And if you haven't picked up this game already. Or the person that you're buying for has not played this game yet. Please pick up this game it is not only the best game of 2017 it might be one of the best games of the decade it is fantastic and this is one of those games that you can get for somebody and not worry about another game for a while because there's so much to do in this game there's hundreds and hundreds of hours to spend in this game and with breath of the wild 2 confirmed now is a great chance to get caught up play the first one and have a good time with it. It is $50 right now. It is pretty steep of a price. Nintendo games rarely drop. Rarely drop in price. Um, so. You know. Especially on the eShop as well. Like they rarely drop in price. And I don't expect this game to. Drop any less than 50 We did see it. Like I said. We saw it for 30 to 40 On Black Friday. A lot of games. Um, that I'll talk about here soon are also still at that 50 plus price range It's pretty expensive, but they are worth it. Nintendo games do hold their quality really really well uh, Moving on though another great game again still at that 50 plus range Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is currently $57 on Amazon as well as uh, Walmart um, I'm mentioning those two because those usually have the best deals from what I've seen Again, pretty expensive, but it's $57, and it's one of those games that's kind of a staple for any Nintendo console. In all honesty, you really can't go wrong with picking up Mario Kart. It's, it's a fantastic franchise. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the best Mario Kart game, and anybody who's getting a Switch will be happy to get their hands on this game. Another great game is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Again, this one is actually at $59.88, so it's still pretty much at $60. But, to be fair, this is one of the better games to get. This is probably one of the best games on Nintendo Switch. Again, much like Mario Kart, anybody will be happy to get this game. There's so much gameplay here. There's tons of different modes, tons of different characters to use. It's just all around a lot of fun, and I would highly recommend it. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey, uh, this is still at 60 but another fun single-player game, a platformer game, and probably one of the better Mario games on the Switch. I would highly recommend this one as well. So much fun. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, depending on the player, it's, it's a fairly shorter game, but it is a lot of fun, and there is a lot of collectibles to find in the game, and I would highly recommend it. And uh, a newer Switch game. I know this isn't the holiday spirit. I know it's not Christmas with you know snowmen and reindeer. It's a spooky game, but Luigi's Mansion 3 recently came out this past Halloween, and I would highly recommend it. It's probably... It's up there with like my top three favorite Switch games this year. And it's probably, a, it's easily a contender for Game of the Year for me. Luigi's Mansion 3 is amazing. I absolutely love this game. Uh, it's currently $60 still on Amazon and I believe on Walmart as well. Let me double check. And it is currently, uh, yes, $60 on Amazon as well. It did just come out, like I said, this Halloween. So it is a very new game but it's a lot of fun it's a single player game as well uh, it's fairly quick it's it's about uh, 10 to 14 hours depending on 
uh, the difficulty uh, that the player finds it, depending on how hard uh, some of the uh, bosses can be. It's a fairly straightforward, just fun game. It's it's a fun game. I, I love it. It's definitely one of my favorites of the year, and I would highly recommend it. Of course, if you don't know what to get for a game, you can never go wrong with eShop Credit. Uh, these come in different varieties of $20, $50, $100, and this allows uh, whoever you're buying it for to add this credit to their Switch, and they can pretty much download whatever games they want. So if you're not sure what games they're interested in or what games they already have, this is a great alternative uh, for somebody that you're just not sure what to get them. You can never go wrong with an eShop gift card. Also, another uh, series of games I should have mentioned. I believe these are all regular price still. Uh, let me actually double check. Should have had these pulled up. But uh, there are a couple other games I did want to mention real quick. Uh, Skyrim and The Witcher 3. If you're buying for a mature uh, person, fantastic games. These games are, again, RPGs that are going to take hundreds of hours to complete. Uh, or they could take, you know, not that long. Uh, if they want to roam with the world, do every side quest, talk to every NPC, it's going to take a while. Uh, these games are a lot of fun. They are, like I said, for a more mature audience. Uh, the Witcher 3 and Skyrim are both fantastic, though. The music is great. Uh, the maps are really beautiful to explore. And the combat is so addicting. A lot of these, um, a lot of these games are, are hailed as, as some of the greatest games of all time. And they're on Nintendo Switch. And you cannot go wrong with either of those games. The other two games that I would honestly recommend are Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. These are available at full price since they did just come out. Uh, in the middle of November, so they're brand new games, but you really can't go wrong with Pokemon. A lot of people like Pokemon. Uh, the only difference between Sword and Shield are the exclusive Pokemon, and I believe a couple gym leaders are different across the, the versions, but that's it. The gameplay is the same, story is the same, they're going to have a very similar experience no matter which copy you get them. So, those are some other game recommendations. Other than that, like I said, you really cannot go wrong with a eShop gift card. Moving on, if you need storage for your Nintendo Switch, which you're most definitely going to need, um, micro SD cards are the main form of memory that the Nintendo Switch uses. The Switch comes with 32 gigabytes on board, which is dismal. That is borderline pathetic. Uh, even I have to agree, three, 32 gigabytes barely cuts it for like one or two games. If you're downloading your games, obviously you're going to need more storage for your SD card. And 32 gigabytes does not cut it. If you plan on picking up mostly physical games, there is currently a 128 gigabyte micro SD card from SanDisk for 17 bucks. Or there's a Samsung Evo micro SD card, uh, same memory, 128 gigs for 17 bucks. And this is probably, uh, if you're just starting out, if you just need storage, I would honestly recommend 128. If you're buying mostly physical games, but you might download a few indies or you need room for updates, stuff like that. Uh, I started out with 128 gigabytes and it did me well until I went all digital. And I then picked up a 512 gigabyte SD card, which is available for $80 on Amazon. Quite steep, quite a lot of money, but if you do plan on going all digital, obviously you're going to need that extra storage. If you don't think you're going to need 512 gigabytes, uh, there's currently a 256 gigabyte SanDisk SD card for about $30. Uh, so you're going to save $10. It's normally $40. This is also a really, really great amount. I think I upped from $128 to $256, then to $512 myself. Uh, and $256 is a sweet spot. Depending on the amount of games that you're going to buy and download, this should be more than enough. Again, if you need to go up, um, there are higher 
uh, storage options for you. But this is the one that I use is SanDisk. There's also Samsung you can use, uh, which is also a reputable brand. I would stick with either SanDisk or Samsung or even PNY, something reputable, something uh, like a brand name. Please be aware, there are going to be SD cards, especially on Amazon, uh, that say they're 400 gigabytes for $20 or $17. This is usually from a brand that's not heard of, and it usually does not come with 400 gigabytes. Please, only buy from brand names like SanDisk, Samsung, etc. I would not trust from other brands. Especially when it comes to memory, that's nothing to mess around with. Right now, SD cards are, are really cheap. They're really cheap around this time of the year. Uh, for, I would honestly say the 256 gigabytes for 30 bucks is probably the best deal. Uh, if you don't think you need that much, for $17, you can get 128. That's also really, really good. But please do not buy uh, from a non-trusted brand. It's only going to hurt you in the long run. Believe me. Also, I would not recommend buying the 1TB SD card. Uh, this is offered by SanDisk. It is currently on sale. It's normally $450. It is currently $250. So it's a, a, a nice almost half off. You save about $200. Bucks. Please do not buy this card. Nintendo Switch does support up to 2TB SD cards. So it's bound to happen that a 2TB card will come down uh, or come out. But please, this is the this is above the price of an a Switch. You could get a Switch Lite and like a full retail game for the size or for the price of this SD card. It's very impressive that you know we're able to fit one terabyte of storage on something as as small as a fingernail. But please do not buy. It's so expensive. It's not even funny. And I can guarantee you, within one or two years. This thing's going to come down less than like 80 bucks. At least, okay, maybe, maybe not 80, but like less than 100. Easily less than 100 within the next year or two. Please do not buy this. Hold off. The 200 plus dollars is not worth it. This thing is bound to drop in price. SD cards drop in price all the time. Give it a year or two. Uh, this is just not worth it. You're much better off buying. Um, if you really need the extra storage... Like I said, 400, 512 gigs, that should cut it. Uh, this one terabyte card is stupidly expensive. I just, I would not, I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. If you plan on taking your Nintendo Switch with you on the go, because at the end of the day, it is designed to do that. Uh, you might need a screen protector as well. I really couldn't find any deals on screen protectors because they're usually cheap as it is uh the one that i use is the am film nintendo switch screen protector it's nine bucks on amazon uh you get a pack of two screen protectors and they're tempered glass so you get two so if you mess up on the first time you got an extra one to to apply and, and nail it the second time or if you absolutely kill it the first time and you get it on perfectly without bubbles or without any sort of trouble you got yourself a second screen protector for free, essentially. Uh, so I'll have this uh, linked as well. Uh, this is the one that I've used. Um, I believe I bought, I think I bought this once or twice. Um, I actually bought, I bought this three times uh, for my Nintendo Switch. Uh, so I bought this a couple times. I swear by these screen protectors. They are fantastic. Uh, the only reason I bought it so many times is because um, I usually uh, replace the screen protector after a while. Uh, if it tends, screen protectors, at least in my, uh, on my Switch, they tend to wear out a little bit. So I think I replaced it a couple times. Um, other than that, it's a fantastic product. And like I said, you get two. So for nine bucks, you get two screen protectors. It's really not that bad of a deal. I would say go for it. There's also a couple, uh, Portable chargers I would recommend for the Switch. Again, if you're taking it with you on the go, whether you have the V2 Switch or the V1 Switch, you might need some extra battery life. And there's a couple 
power banks that I would recommend for Switch. And there's a couple that are on sale as well. Uh, the first one is the Inker PowerCore Slim 10,000 milliamp power delivery USB Type C power bank. What a mouthful! So Inker actually does make a official Switch power bank, but this one's half the price, and it's the same brand. It's around the same battery capacity. It's currently 25 bucks on Amazon. And Inker is a reputable brand when it comes to portable chargers. I have one from Inker. I swear by it. I love it. So I would definitely recommend uh, this one. It's, again, going to be linked in the comments uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, there's also a couple other ones. Uh, the Inker 2010 milliamp uh, charger is 39% off. It's currently $50. Uh, then there's the 2680 or 26800 I should say, which is $5 off. And all in all, I would say that you're pretty much best looking at Inker's um, offerings for portable portable chargers. Uh, just make sure that, again, you're buying something from a reputable, uh, a good brand, and you're buying something that's going to charge the Switch while, you'll be, while, you're, while you're able to play it. There's a lot of chargers out there. That you can't charge the switch while you're playing it because the switch is going to use more power than it's receiving and it's only going to drop in battery so make sure you're buying something that has enough battery capacity for your switch please also if you're buying uh power bricks or ac adapters for your switch so you can plug it into the wall and charge it the Nintendo Switch AC adapter from Nintendo is $30. I would recommend just go for the official AC adapter. It's really not worth going for a third party. Even if you can save half off, I would much rather go for the official product. More often than not, you're going to get a cheap off-brand product that doesn't work. You're, you're going to mess up your Switch just by the official one from Nintendo. Uh, the, uh, the one that comes with the Switch is available to buy separately for 30 Just by that. Just by that. You're, you're not going to save as much money if you buy an off-brand, but at the end of the day, especially when it comes to power consumption for your $300 console, it's nothing to mess around with. You just go for the official charger. And you'll be fine. Other than that, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I might have some other stuff linked in the comments if you're listening on YouTube. Other than that, I think that's pretty much everything. There's a ton of great accessories for Switch that I could have mentioned. But those ones I think are the must-haves and the ones that will work across both Switch and Switch Lite. Uh, at least for the most part. And... Those were the ones that were on sale for pretty decent prices. So I think that's pretty much that. I think that's pretty much um, the holiday gift guide that, that I can give to you. I'm sure there's some other stuff that I was missing. But I think that's pretty much the best of the best uh, when it comes to buying for the Nintendo Switch. Moving on, we do have some news from Nintendo that I would like to get into. The first and the biggest is Nintendo, uh, or not Nintendo, but Animal Crossing New Horizons has been rated in Australia. Yes. So this means a couple things. First off, uh, well, actually it means basically one thing. The game is finished. Uh, the game is finished at this point in time, which makes sense. Um, that leaves Nintendo, well, around four months, three months to market the game get enough copies of the game uh, shipped, and just start advertising the life out of this game. But this also means that it might be time for some more information. Uh, it's been pretty dry when it comes to Animal Crossing New Horizons since E3. Since then, we've gotten small, small snippets of information, but nothing really big from Nintendo. And I'm getting, I'm not really worried. The game is coming out in March of next year. There's still quite a wait. Not that long, but still a wait. 
And uh, I, I'm getting kind of nervous, though. There, there's really no information regarding the game, but at least it's finished. Uh, it getting rated means that it's 100% done, f I think, at least for the most part, which is exciting. So I'm sure from now until it releases, uh, we're going to focus primarily on marketing, advertising. Hopefully we get a uh, an Animal Crossing Direct sometime next year. I'm sure we'll get one prior to the game releasing. But I just can't wait. I really can't wait. I'm so excited for Animal Crossing. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited for Animal Crossing. Either way, uh, the game getting rated is, you know, good news. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. I, I do expect a direct, hopefully soon, maybe sometime next year. Um, other than that, that was that was pretty much it. That's the news. Moving on, Nintendo recently held a Nintendo Indie World Showcase, and there were quite a few different indie games that were announced uh, during this little mini showcase. Now, I'm going to be honest, I've been slipping when it comes to indies. There's so many indies that when they're announced, I get hyped for, I get excited for, they look cool. But by the time they come out, there's usually like a third party game, a big AAA game that has my attention, I forget about it, I, I, I put it on the wish list and never look at it again. I feel kind of bad. There's a lot of games on my, uh, a lot of indies on my wish list that I want to play, I want to get, but I just never seem to do it. But there were some cool indies uh, highlighted in the Indie World Showcase. Uh, I, I want to go through at least the game titles, at least just share what was announced during the showcase. Uh, some of them looked pretty cool, some of them looked really, really cool, and others looked fun. Uh, but with that said, uh, some of the games that were announced were Sports Story, which is the sequel to Golf Story, which I've never played, but I heard good things about. But it looks like this game won't focus just on golf, uh, but golfing, tennis, volleyball, and other mini games. And it is a Switch exclusive, and it launches mid-2020. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if this is my thing, but... I mean, I'm sure people out there are excited. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing this one right. Axiom Verge 2. Uh, it appears to be a Metroidvania. Uh, and it's set for release in fall of 2020. Uh, there is a gameplay for it as well. Streets of Rage 4 is releasing in the first half of 2020. Gleamlight is set for 2020. Bacon Switch is hitting switch bacon switch is hitting switch it's coming to switch it's dropping on uh summer 2020 and it's a party co-op game between other players it looks pretty cool uh super mash is set for 2020 the talos principle deluxe edition is available now uh, so it's available, it actually launched on December 10th, which I believe, yeah, which was the, uh, showcase. Uh, so this is the deluxe version. This actually looks pretty cool. It's a first person puzzle game. And I, I watched some of the gameplay of this and it actually looked kind of cool. I may look into this. Uh, I'm not sure how much this was. Actually, it might be on the eShop right now. Let me actually pull it up on the eShop. Let me actually see. This This looks. This game actually did look uh, pretty cool. Uh, let's see if it's on the eShop right now. Um, uh, the Talos Principle, is that it? $30. Um, pretty cool. It looks kind of nice. I might, I might wishlist it. <laughs> I might wishlist it. Uh, moving forward is Sailforth. It's a 3D action game where you pilot a ship on the seas. Uh, you have to take on monsters and ships and stuff like that. Uh, seems to be pretty cool. That's coming out 2020. Uh, Dauntless is a free-to-play game, and it's actually available now. And I did download this last night. I've yet to play it. But this kind of reminds me of Monster Hunter. Um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think there was 
gameplay of this at E3 this year, I believe. Uh, and it actually looked kind of cool, so I picked up. I might actually play it later today. Um, but it's available now. It's free to play. Go pick it up. Murder by Numbers uh, is a appears to be like a visual novel, uh, Picross type game. Um, it's a timed exclusive in early 2020 for Switch. Uh, next off, we have Odd World Strangers Wrath HD. Uh, that comes out January 2020. Uh, Skatebird. This is the one that I thought looked so dumb and so much fun. Oh my gosh. It's a bird who skateboards. What the heck is this? It's, it's basically Tony Hawk. Um, but it's a bird. It's an actual bird. Uh, this looks really, really fun. This looks It looks so stupid, but like in a good way. Uh, it isn't coming out. It's coming out late 2020. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Uh, Liberated uh, is a cyberpunk visual novel, um, which comes out as a time exclusive in 2020. Uh, Dreamscaper will come to Switch in early 2020. Again, it's a timed exclusive, uh, which is interesting. Is Nintendo dropping some money, or I don't know what's happening. Um, but lots of timed exclusives on Switch. Uh, Boyfriend Dungeon is coming to Switch in 2020. And The Survivalists, which looks pretty cool. Uh, which I think this is actually set uh, in the... I, th I think it's made by the same team that made The Escapists. Uh, you're set on an island. Uh, you can craft stuff and build things and train monkeys to survive on an island. Uh, so it's a co-op game. Or you can go in alone. Uh, it launches in 2020. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, that's another one. So, those are the games. Um, like I said, indies are a hit or miss for me. And I feel bad not paying more attention to them. But, uh, I think in 2020, moving forward in 2020, I'm going to pick up more indies. Uh, I actually want to pick up more indies. There's a lot on my wish list right now. There's some on my wish list that were revealed like back when the Switch was announced that I just haven't gotten to. I think moving forward in 2020, I, I think every now and then I'm gonna I'm just gonna pick up an indie, play through it, and, and check it out and see what's all about. I'm actually gonna get more into indies. Uh, moving forward, so we'll see how how long that lasts but that's my new year's resolutions play more indies because there are some really cool indies out there that just haven't been paying attention to but either way i think that's it for this week's episode of joy con cast that's pretty much it um i think what will happen is next year i'll do the end of the year review uh for nintendo switch for nintendo 2019 and then i'll probably take a nice week or two off from joy con cast since it's the holidays, to enjoy some time. Um, and we'll get back to it early 2020. But next year, I think we'll do the end of the year, 2019. Uh, Nintendo Roundup or whatever. So, I'm very excited to do that. But either way, that brings us to the end of this week's episode. Thank you so much for listening. I do appreciate it. Thanks for any and all support. And as always, have yourselves a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one.